And at this point, I'm mainly, I really am just farming YouTube content. So surely the Warlock will be good, right? Surely? Surely. I've said many times, I think this class is underrated. Uh, I'm not saying it's good, but I'm saying it's underrated. So, uh, uh, do I take the risk of the Acolyte? If I could actually get both of these, that would be amazing. I may just take this because it's safe. If you can get like a, uh, clergy, pretty potentially solid, right? Ooh, yeah. I think demonic is just better, right? I mean, to make this choice is brutal, but I mean, the stats are very clear which one's better. Or the must have for warlock. Uh, this, ones you really, really want are like demonic assault and mischievous imp. You can pretty much take any of the clears, spawn a death wing. And Shadow Waltz. I think Shadow Waltz is a big one. I haven't been offered a single Shadow Waltz yet. Crazy how this doesn't even have 50% win rate. I know, right? Is this my tryhard account? I hope not. Reef Walker is almost as good a win rate as Demonic Assault. We'll get Undeads, right? Surely. Surely. Got another one. Uh, I might take a Librarian. We have pings, right? I think I'm pretty happy with the Librarian. Mm, I just need a two, I think, right now. Oh, there's the Clergy, nice. Oh, we even got a Twisted Tether. Ah, Horses Skip uh, Maze Guide kind of sucks. I do need to keep in mind, I actually do really need an undead now. I should really try to get as many undeads as I can, to be honest. Especially with the clergy, like that health buff could really do something. Nothing that I'm really planning to use with this. I'm surprised its stats are so high, to be honest. So high, I say, at 48%, 47%. I guess the one thing is, eating void walkers might actually be really good. I'm surprised this card, this card is doing so poorly. Trust the stats. Hmm. I mean, void terror is fun. Uh, we do have a lot of... Oh, I need the undead, don't I? I have a good number of spells. I just need the undead, I think, right? It's a really good one to buff up to. I probably don't have a choice for here. Oh, there's another undead, nice. Or skip ink gang kind of sucks. Uh, these are both also undeads. I would probably take this one for a two, but I might just take sentinel anyway over this. How badly do we need a 2? Pretty badly. Technically, it makes the reanimator worse. I know I'm going to want taunt. Yeah, it's just slightly greedy, but... We'll get other 2s, right? Probably safer, though. Copying Demonic Assault is pretty nice. You can also copy Fiendish Circle to ensure we get Deathborn. It's almost not that necessary to copy a Demonic, though. Maybe we take the Peddler here? Sling is a better card, but we have no synergy, and we kind of need the two, I guess. Yeah. Brewmaster or Peddler to deny our opponent being able to use it. But we could also Brewmaster this, actually, or Clergy. Or it's just a two drop, more likely than anything else. Oh, look, Florist has over 50% win rate. Demonic Assault didn't, but Florist does. Are we going to play Lady Darkfane Twisted Tether uh, Roulette? I guess? I don't know how I feel about that. The other cards just seem completely useless, so there's still a chance we can get something better, I guess. Okay, Drain Soul would at least make Darkfane heal, even if it kills our own board. But Sin Runner is a good undead for Reanimator. Dream Soul would fit the early curve, would fix the early curve problem a little bit, but I really do want as many undeads as I can get. And I guess it's just, I mean, the stats are hard. I think it's just a better card than Drain Soul. As much as I would like some healing. This could actually be bad for the tether. Because you hit the big undead. Could just take, might just take Dredger. Another one. And Tower Sergeant. It's with all the Reef Walkers. 
But, I don't know. More undead synergy seems okay. We do have a very good Tower Sergeant deck. This is just, uh, I mean, this is better than Tower Sergeant when it hits. I guess, right? Alright, we have too many fives now. Don't think I want the tiny undead. Yo, what's up, Aja? Go your chat. Gifting a sub to Evil Pact. Don't have much of a choice here, right? Probably just take this as a two. Kind of sad, but... I mean, Dwarf is good, but I probably just want a two. You know, it's just like a one four. I mean, a one four is okay. It might draw sometimes. Vile Library. Just take a Muck Plumber, I guess. You know what we needed? More fives! The cards just aren't really... A thing. I was gonna say, like, maybe the library just for the one Phoenix Circle might be better. Especially with this now, maybe it would have been. Um, Imp is amazing. That feels okay. We have everything, right? It's just, we don't have a lot of everything. I guess the thing we're weakest on, well, we don't really have board clears, right? We don't really have AoE at all. We say, and then we immediately queue into a druid. Q into Druid miss all early game. Sounds like a plan. I mean, he's missing all his early game too, at least. It's a little scary that he's just like some super late game deck though. Try to save this for the clergy combo. Oh, great. Good thing we have Demonic. Wait, he top decked that. Uh. Could have activated this as well, but obviously it wouldn't be so good when there's a Park Panther on the board. Wouldn't be useless, though. Dude, what the fuck? Pretty good, actually. Now I need to find undead somewhere. Okay, that's a really slow turn. Um, what I actually need to find, I need to find the tether probably, because I have to imagine the... Uh... Miracle growth is coming. I really want the draw, so I think I'm gonna not trade so that I can uh, get the draw here. Ooh, or I can, um... <laughs> Actually, now I can go for a Dredger Staff to just make this uh, better. Make everything else better, too. It's more stats than this is. And then I can trade, too. Unfortunately, scale still clears, but... Let's see what do I take. That is an incredibly weak turn. I hope this fits on the ship. Going for the double dredge strat. 
Is scales nature untyped? I think it's untyped. I think miracle growth is nature. Right? I think. I will go for the muck now, probably. Well, I could go a hippogriff, actually. I don't know, we're definitely playing this. I guess hippogriff's pretty nice, just clears. He hasn't really been doing anything that terrifying. And I can just keep the druid off board. Seems reasonable enough. Need to find that tether. Or the silence. Still. This guy holding a 2-drop? He hasn't played most of what he had early, so... I, I'm at this point, he does have Defile. Yeah. I was kind of suspicious of Defile. <laughs> I tried to play around it. The only reason I had to read on Defile is just because it's the card that Constructed Druid plays, and he's playing like he's a Constructed deck, so I was like, yeah, yeah, he probably actually just has it. Um, but anyway, so I still didn't play a single Undead yet. Guess I'm doing this. This might hurt me though. Here's where I need to swing. At least it didn't hurt me. I really need. Alright, we found it just in time. Thank God. It's not even that good here, but I mean, I have to play it just because it's huge. And so I can activate this. Next turn's probably this, this, this. We'll see. I mean, if he doesn't kill this, we probably just win, right? He might give it Dormant, though, which will ruin everything. Freaking Attack of the Beatles. He appears to just be trying to hold on for dear life. If I want, I can eat this so that I can actually do that. So many possibilities. I guess what I'm doing now... Actually, you know what? I want to eat both of these, I think. Kind of giving our guys rush. I mean, giving an extra rush here, anyway. If I want, I could kill the five with all of these. Depends on how much I value having this extra stuff. The thing is, since I can't kill anything else anyway, I guess I do it that way. Just dead. We'll see. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm actually just dead. I literally can't do anything. Okay, he threw away three damage for no reason. That helps, but. He might not kill us this turn. It was a little early on the Miracle Growth call.
Right, I think we hold wait, doesn't he die? Yeah, he dies, right? No, I'm um... Yeah, I know he's dead. Oh no, he trades like that, okay. So I guess I have to trade now. But I have this life steal now. Of course. Okay, he's he's currently low rolling. <laughs> he's very much low rolling. Yes. No. Ha. Huh. Oh my god. That does keep him alive. Uh, did that kill him? Probably, right? I should be able to get 11 through. I mean, I can afford to top. Um, I'm obviously silencing this guy. I'm obviously doing this. Oh yeah, he's dead. Sick honorable kill! Got him. Yeah, they officially announced the expansion comes out on the 11th now. We kind of knew a long time ago, but um, they did officially announce it. So a lot of like the Blizzard people even acknowledge it's like, oh yeah, we uh, <laughs> we know that everyone knows when they come out. Because if you pay attention, they, they kind of give it away through a lot of different things. But yeah, I'll just keep this, I guess. Is it still? We don't know what the arena sets are going to be. I would very much expect it. W I don't know either. I would very much expect it'll be standard ish, but I don't know if it's just going to be standard or whatever. I have no idea. Uh, this is our undead, but we'll get another undead, right? Motherfucker. Maybe I should have taken the uh, jar, the dealer, the arms dealer, just because it would have been less likely for him to guess it, maybe. Because mistake was probably the obvious choice. He would never take the, uh, the other thing. I don't know. Because it was his obvious choice. Yeah, true. Everyone will get to retire for leaderboard again. Did he just... Okay. It's pretty good. Now I can Twisted Tether his mistake, and then play my giant mistake to assert dominance. Shit. Uh, I guess I'll do that then. If you Demonic Assault, it's like you either trade this or you just play the mistake, but I kind of need the mistake in my hand, so... This kind of just uh, works. 
It's a lot of damage to take on that, but it should be fine. Oh god. This can't be good. Well, we found a twisted tether target. We found two of them. See if we get rush. Damn. The one time I don't want. Wind Fury. Have a feeling he can play the game. I mean, he's a legend card back player, so that means he's actual trash, right? That's the rule. I don't make the rules. I'm, I'm not accusing it. I'm not saying anything. I'm just passing on the rules. I don't make the rules. Nice try, suspect. An excellent attempt. But yes, I heard. Exactly, Hellfrost. I was gonna say it was like kind of uh, it, ma it made these weird noises, and it was um, it was really weird actually. There's a way to die to scenarios. We're totally getting scenarios, to die, aren't we? Hmm. Surely nothing bad happens. The issue is if he scenarios this, I can't really get through it. There's nothing I can do. Like holding this for it doesn't make any sense. Because I mean, like, if he scenarios this, he doesn't kill this. Play a plus one, plus one buff, I dare you. The saddest reanimator in history. Seems like it. Alright, oh, I had that too. I forgot about that actually. Am I supposed to cash in this damage? Probably, right? I wonder if there's he holding now. Ah. Okay. This lines up not well at all. Hmm. What I can do... And kill this, I could run both of these into there. And then do it. Then I'm letting him like bump this guy in. Well, I'm pretty sure this happens. I get more attack this way, but I guess the same numbers are dead too. I guess this is better, right? Actually, I would rather this get frozen. Well, I mean, I'm not killing it this way anyway. I guess it's this way. It makes his turn slightly more difficult, too. I mean, it. 
I mean, yeah, okay, well, he simplified it very quickly. Oh, he got the best two targets. Wonderful. <laughs> well, we just need to draw Lady Darkvein so we can play some uh, Twisted Tether Roulette. Oh, wait, I tethered. Fuck, did I tether or gasp first? Fuck, I probably tethered first, didn't I? Because I wasn't thinking about it. I think I might have tethered first. It was the same turn. But I think I tethered before. You think I gasped first? Did I? Maybe I did. I might have. I kind of remember tethering first. He's trained because he's actually under way more pressure than we are. It's nice that he's not killing our uh, plumber then, though. We do have the advantage of being a warlock that has uh, a million health. Oh dear. Taking that to the face. Okay. I have to kill that because it can grow. The other class is going up on YouTube. Like right around the end of the stream, I'll put a few of them up. I'm gonna put them up out over the next couple, over like the next day or so, just so that they don't all eat each other. But they should all be up probably by end of tomorrow. If you really want to view them fast, there's always the Twitch VOD. Really? Hmm. They appear to be dying. Nice. All of our dudes are big now. I do have exactly 10 damage, so well, now I have more. Oh. Greetings, sir. Now here's the sad thing is I don't think I have any reach in my deck. I have literally zero reach, so there is a chance. <laughs> if he can actually get more taunt, we might lose. They had no mention of warrior in these patch notes. Tragic. Rip that guy. So hopefully we draw Merlocula, like now, <laughs> or like last turn. Orange apples, thanks for the follow. Oh god. Okay, I think we have a problem. Thanks for subscribing on YouTube. I guess I just killed this, huh? Put all these in the way. Hope nothing bad happens. Now they're angry. I have a bad feeling we're getting wrecked by the uh 
Oh, he has to, like, kill all of them before he can even play the rush, right? Uh, it wasn't the rush I was talking about, but... Sad thing is, uh, this is the best card to play right now in my hand. This summons two shades that don't do anything. Next time I can summon shades that summon final gasps, which I guess might help more. We're not done with you yet. I think we have a problem. This reminds me of Nathri meta when this was like every game. That your opponent would, uh... Oh, that would've been nice. It was better to hold this. Remember when your opponent would just, uh, infuse and then they would just vomit infuses until you died? Back in the good old days. It's funny because I ended up getting the muck, the Sin Runner anyway. Maybe I should have done it in the other order. Not expecting these to actually do anything. So close. This definitely gets played. Um, I have to kill that. I need more. Attacks. Can't really void terror this turn. I don't think we can win though, because like we just don't have healing. And we've taken critical damage. So I'll just leave. If he trades that turn, you can 100% win, but he's not an idiot, so... Have I reviewed the new cards? I have, yes. They're on the Twitch VOD, but also they'll be popping up on YouTube in the next couple of days. A few of them are already there. I mean, I literally have the imp card in my hand, so it's like I probably should take that, right? I don't know that I necessarily. It could be really bad to give him an abusive sergeant. Imagine he actually has Gargan or something. Probably have more imps than him. The problem is, is like giving him a 1 3 was actually, as you can see, was really bad. <laughs> but, yeah. So I would have rather not did it. The problem was, is that like giving him abusive, is like, yeah, Spring Power Gargan or something could have been worse. So I only need one more. I guess I just do it like this then.
Inspect a reset of Learboard um, when the next season starts, which would be uh, expansion launch, which is April 11th. Could have been worth just killing the 1 2. So unless he has something, this seems like actually a kind of just in his Gargan too. Uh, everyone always has the good cards. One thing is if he has a second Gargan, then it would be safer to play this first. I can play Tether Roulette later, but I mean, if I do that, what am I doing this turn? Just play this crap and get value traded off board? Seems like a plan. I mean, I can go like Demonic Assault and Librarian. I can also assault that. Assaulting this is kind of just better. We could just stop going as hunters while drawing horrifically while they draw their infused crap, it would be nice. If I can top deck any undead now. Then I would be pretty happy. Another demonic. Uh question would be do I really want to play Dark Fane? Like the best play here probably is just go Dark Fane tap. Obviously tap first. Guess I don't really want to play roulette with it. As of right now it's gonna be unfavored. Okay, I have that now. Well now I can tether. He probably dredged up something huge is the one thing. Okay, do this then. So yeah, the fact that he just dredged up, I don't want to like... It's pretty likely there's something much bigger than that that I actually want to deal with. So I don't really want to tether at 36. As good as it would be on this. Only a high main. You the high main? I don't want to, but I don't really have a choice, do I? I guess I just kill... I could Reef Walker, I guess. I mean, might as well play them both together. Do Demonic on this to try to set this up. I don't know. It's very weird. There are so many different ways you could do that, actually. You could kill both the 2-2s. Two then that doesn't set up Hollow Bomb at all. He's disturbingly not out of value yet. At the same time, he's probably thinking, my opponent is disturbingly not out of health yet.
kind of an only player, right? If an uninfused minion gets frozen back to hand, uh, what do you mean? I mean, it's uninfused, so what would possibly change about it? If you Are you asking, like, if you infuse it? Oh, and then you infuse it. I'm not... I think it keeps the penalty. I'm not actually sure. So our giant guy's gonna die. He has no pings in all of those spells, okay. He's fully trying to win on value. Combo! It gives me a 2-8 Reborn. Oh, it might give me a Peddler too. We're not done with you yet. He's around Dead's 2? Fuck. <laughs> Time to get Deathborn by a Hunter? Oh, that's really bad. Legendary weapon incoming, I guess. I guess I couldn't really do anything about that. You're undead to me. I mean, I could have gone face, I guess, with it. I was thinking it would be Avenge, though, but it was completely random, so... I should tap, actually. Uh, it's worth playing, I guess. I don't think I miss four. Maybe I do. Do I miss four to protect a two one? Maybe I do. Still probably a board control game. I mean, I'm not exactly face rushing him that well. It would just be if I don't miss that four, then I theoretically do set up lethal with the troll if he would activate the troll and not push anything. Isn't it dangerous to put so much on board after Sunwell? Let me propose this question to answer your question. If I don't all in him, how on earth do I ever beat Sunwell? <laughs> I mean, also, I think we knew that he didn't have great answers because of what he did on the previous turns. But uh, even if he was holding another or something, it's like... Well... well, I I think you're not you're not understanding the point I'm making. The point is, not only this, it's not actually the Sunwell. The fact he also drew like five cards from his own deck, like it just doesn't matter what he has. We just know that it's better than what we have. So this game getting prolonged is 100% loss, 100% of the time. Prolonging the game is not an option. Dead to me. Your son, welcome. 
I might just eat that. I could eat these. Delete that. You wonder if Coil Thing will still prevent playing the card after infuses. But the same logic, the fact that they retain buffs and debuffs, presumably. Um I would think it would, right? It's just a debuff, it's a temporary debuff on the card. Uh oh. Eh. Wait, really? I thought that troll was on the board for a while. That was that was on the board less long than the bunker sergeant, really? Okay. Oh yeah, that, yeah, that bunker sergeant was on the board for a while. I didn't realize that actually. He probably didn't either. <laughs> Mysterious moves, thanks for the follow. have to play this. I mean, otherwise this thing's going to start hitting me in the face. Unless I want to be uh, bet on myself drawing Reef Walker. That's a problem. Fuck. So if I would have tapped last turn, well, he still would have had an active Corporal, but... Runes, and then we high roll? Okay, that's fine. It's a bit of a problem though, because I mean, this is water elemental, but I'm just going to have to kill the 2 3 and the 6 5, right? This guy was first, so it's going to get sniped too. I don't see what I can really do about it. I get to play this for zero at least into his water elemental, which will, we're kind of just getting fucked. Um, well, I'll be able to reanimate this. Yeah, we have things going for us. It's just, we have a lot more things going against us currently. Actually, I can kill the water elemental instead, I guess. I'm not sure, we're going to take a lot of damage this way, but at least we're not getting board cleared immediately this way. I'm still taking damage the other way, just not as much, but then I actually have a board this way. Probably better, right? He trades, he trades. Yes, he traded! He did a chat. Which time zone am I? East Coast, or also known as the one that corresponds to this time. Boom. We're kind of in the spot where um, I don't really have any ways to beat Mass Clears, right? If he has like Flame Strikes, we uh, kind of lose. It's crazy that in a little over a week, there just won't be any more flame strike. Except they w there will be when your opponent plays this card and then makes a flame strike. But other than that, there won't be flame strike anymore. It's freezing my undead, so I can't kill it off. Disaster. I almost don't want to play this. It makes the reanimator a bit worse. I kind of need to though.
Giving him Wicked Shipman is kind of bad. If he has Deathborn. I don't actually have Imp Synergy, right? Got him! Nice nerfed Dark Peddler. You mean buffed Dark Peddler in this case? Each time it seems like people always pick the best one. Because they all, every time they pick the one I expected, so. Not oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, I don't have any pings here. It could be splitting, too. I could die. It's just... Like, I think it is splitting. Hope for the best, I guess. I also might just die to Ice Block in two turns of burn. Okay, nothing bad is happening, apparently. Turns out, we are geniuses. We understood that there was nothing to fear in that position. Mages with spell damage can do literally nothing. Stop playing secrets. As we said, nothing to fear. Hello? Drafted Ice Barrier. Should have known. Should put something in the way here to make a uh, cone slightly less bad, I guess. Dude, what even is there? I mean, one of them's ice block, right? Actually, I don't know if um one of them was random was was an old spell, right? I guess it could actually be counter spell, so it might actually be these two secrets. But one of them's probably Oasis, and the other one could be still anything, basically. This is where it's double counter spell, or it's double spell, counter spell and ice block, and then we lose. Let's test counter. Should I test counter with this? Okay. So yeah, it was... I guess it was like Spellbender then, yeah. Spellbender, Effigy, whatever the one that activates. I, I never activate Splitting Image, right? Maybe it was. I had the read on Splitting Image. Maybe it actually was Splitting Image. Could have been a rigged fair game, yeah. There were, a lot of, there were still a lot of things it could have been, I guess. I'd be tempted to keep Tether and look for... Probably not supposed to keep Reanimator either. I think I'll go for the uh, spider tank first. And this card's not gonna be in the game anymore. Fuck me. 
I was like, I know, I was thinking, I didn't say it out loud, but I was like, I know it could get dragged below, but that's not very likely, so I'm not going to play around it. It wasn't a card he kept either, he just drew it naturally. Yo, Murmurl with the sub for 11 months. Welcome back, welcome back. I think I have Demonic Assault, jeez. Play the top deck one. I could play around Hollow Abomination a little bit by trading, but um, I want to try to threaten this. I might just trade these off so that the Merlocula goes. I mean, he hasn't had a bunch of minions. Maybe I don't need to Muck Plumber him. I could just trade off the 1-1s and then... Demonic. I guess that's fine. on earth is happening. Okay, there's so many things I can comment on that just occurred there, but uh, let's just... Uh... But first of all, he was holding on to like Pelican Diver and a legendary early game card, and he wasn't playing them, and also uh, he hit the best target, but actually in this case it's not actually the best target, it turns out, so... Plot twist? I guess? A herring! You're undead to me. Drink with me, friend. We're not down here. It's okay. Now I feel like I really shouldn't muck plumber because I mean my hands all minions, you know. Probably hurts me more than him. Maybe next turn is the turn. Is this Murloc Temple Warlock? Uh, yes. Indeed, it is. Oh my god, it's a giant owl. I think now is the time. I'm not supposed to trade, am I? Even here. He has ready to die to Wind Fury. It's, it would cost him 8 mana, so we probably don't actually die even to that. Oh god. I'll take the tap for Tether. That's pretty nice, though. Guys, thinking like, what on earth is happening? Mass fish. Shit. Um. The question here is, do I care? I could just take this trade. I should probably just take that trade. Oh, 
I mean, the one thing is we're in the Warlock mirror, right? And since he's so low on health, he can't really, in theory at least, he can't life tap anymore, but I can, so... Right, like, we actually do, even though our deck sucks, we do actually win this long game, in theory. Unless he just has massively, massively better cards than us. So, the long in the game does seem okay. Yeah, we could go for like abusive again, but this seems okay. Get the free draw. At some point, we should hit one of our removals. Even if he does taunt up. <laughs> Jokes on you, I get honorable kill now. Boom. I have the combo. There's a chance it works because of the dredger staff. I'd have to coin this though. Probably a bait. I was considering it, like I was close, I just think it's a little too meme. Because the reason it might have worked is because it being a 5-5 five five would have meant that, you know, it doesn't just die to like a mark shot or something. Do I actually coin? Is that actually good? I think that's just good, right? It's a lot of health. I mean, it's worth noting that I had I just played the 3-5, or I guess it would have been a, uh, it would have been like a 4-6, I would have been able to just value trade that. But this also seems okay. I'm gonna be playing off curve forever now. Like this is next turn probably. And then I'm gonna go like this and this maybe. Yes, and gargons everywhere. Why? Um. Okay, well that worked out very well for us. Oh, this isn't mana thirsted yet. Uh, makes it not so good. Well, now we just trade like this. For, you know, like. Wait, that just seemed like now he just we just do this now. I mean, that's just so clean. You know, I don't know what he was thinking. He might have been trying to set up another Gargan, an infused Gargan or something. No, don't kill my giant thing I need to heal up, you bastard. Uh, 
I, I did play two dreads, yes. I mean, what am I supposed to be afraid of right now? If I play double two three, I do walk into the Colossal, I guess. So do I play this instead? Uh, maybe? I mean, I guess that's enough of a reason. That is good against the Mountain Bear. The heal's good. I guess I'll do that, actually. I guess I give him the ability to trade this off so I can't get the uh, Frenzy now, but yeah, it's fine. But yeah, I uh, played Dreads and then I Brewmastered him and I played it again. What on earth? So... Well, I just go boom, boom, boom. Pretty sure I'm just playing these two. Oh. New plan. Pretty fancy, right? Raise your hand in chat if you didn't know that you can do that. The people that were here the whole run should know, because we got the Hollow Abomination Iron Book on face earlier, which doesn't actually do anything, but it gets the animation. Seb Jars, thanks for following. Yes, nice, we got the Merloculo. It's so like the most important card, as we are Murloc uh, Temple Warlock, and if we do not have the Murloc, it makes it very hard to be Murloc Temple Warlock. We were very close to being 2-2 two two with this deck. But then we learned that Warlock is actually the ultimate OP class. This is not the best matchup for this card. Maelstrom Pearl is gone in uh, a couple weeks, though. Control since Shirin Arbuckle's face does it deal 8 damage or would not trigger since the enemies are already dead. It would deal 8 damage. And in fact, it was when it came out, it was actually bugged that it would create an infinite loop. And uh you'd be you'd have to reset your game. <laughs> uh, but they fixed that. I would recommend um there is a clip on my YouTube which is another variation of that bug, which they did not fix when they fixed the original one that I found. Um, and that was interesting. So should, do I just tempo this because of this? I probably do, actually. It's a little weird because I actually do. Eh, I don't know, maybe I want to get this Corporal down. Like, this will be down next turn. It's just if I play this now, then he might just kill it, and then I might actually be able to respawn it immediately. But actually, I might want to res Actually, I want to respawn the Sin Runner, don't I? What am I saying? Oh. Uh, new plan? Uh, I don't know if I need cards. Corporal's so much bigger of a threat. I would just be looking for Twisted Tether, honestly, and I guess Hollow Bomb. I don't know. Most of my other, most of my deck isn't really that important. I wanna like this threat seems valuable. Fuck me, I guess. Oh, apparently I'm a god at the game. Good to know. I could have actually uh, gotten the honorable kill, but I mean. Yeah, it wouldn't have been that good. 
I would have had to trade off like all of basically all of this and I would have had like divine shield void walkers which I guess would be annoying but so you gonna evolve them no the issue is I guess I'll just pop this um he can evolve what pops out so I pretty much have to kill it no matter what it is if it's like really small I could just play the sin runner though that would be the one thing because then I wouldn't have to be afraid of it, but... Yeah, I mean, he's going to get an Evolve anyway. It's not that big of a deal. I'm a little afraid this gets hexed, but... If he hexes, he's not doing all that much, so... I guess it's okay. Well then. Leaderboards reset? No, they did not for Arena. Arena leaderboards go off of the season, which is not just months. It is actually um, the card the card rotations. Wouldn't it be better to only play a Sin Runner? Well, the problem is then you're walk, you're opening yourself up to just losing to like don't stand in the fire or something like that. Like the four health actually protects your Sin Runner from particularly don't stand in the fire. And if it gets hexed, which is the realistically the only way he probably wins is to hex it, and then you know you want to have this Merlocula down since you got hexed, so. Guess I'm waiting on you. I don't have board space to brew this. Kind of annoying. I could do it, but I'd have to like give up this. I'd have to give up the adventure. Maybe it's worth giving up the adventure, actually. I could also just not brew this turn. I can get a tap in instead. Probably not tap last, but you know. That's very nice. You know, I just realized my opponent is a Hearthstone superstar. You guys remember Dennis? You guys remember? Oh, I'm so sorry. Wait, I need him to kill one of my minions. No! Oh! Kill one of my minions, please. My opponent can't kill any of my minions. You lightning bolt my face turn one? Well, I didn't... Actually, I did heal this game, I guess. But, uh, no. Come on, get a rush. Rush, 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 rush. No! Really disaster. I'm forced to kill him the hard fashioned way. The hard fashioned way? The old fashioned way? The hard way? Hard fashioned way. That sounds cool. I don't think I will hold on to the cook. So we're ten days away, right? From all the new cards. I'm not going to activate this. I do. You do kind of want to knock off armor, but I don't want to play this right into, uh, you know, the three mana, three, four girl that would just kill it on curve here. 
So I'm kind of have a feeling that's why he's emoting me. Because he's like, you motherfucker, how could you know? I'll let him do it off curve though. I just go face, right? I killed this guy and it got bigger. Tempo Lady Dark Fiend. I guess I could also like trade all of these in and then just play this. Well, the, the issue would be that, like, um, this would be, like, more flexible later, but I think I like this. So let's just test this, see if we get raid later. If we got raid later, it'd be really, really good. Yeah, I kind of like still having the taunts, I guess. We can just keep doing this. I mean, he hasn't fucked us for this yet. I think he actually didn't have a defile. If he has defile, bitch, he wouldn't have had one last turn, but he has one now. Bump defile, boom. Jokes on me, I couldn't target his next minion anyway. Ooh, double Reef Walker. For the memes. But also because it's the best play. It's kind of the only play. It's three damage, so all of these go in. I guess I I guess I have to take that trade too. Oh no, I take the other trade. <laughs> I definitely do not take that trade. That would make me a Papega. Okay, unsquelch him. He played a discover, that's the rule. Gotta squelch him again. You know the rules, chat. I don't make the rules. Oh dear. Do I want to play you? I should probably play you, right? I don't even want this, but... Play Ivis right now. A genius strategy. Well, the funny thing is, is like if I could just Ivis, because then I Ivis his Ivis, right? My swarm is actually kind of cool. But like, I could just Ivis his Ivis, so I just take it, right? Normally you'd be like, you don't want to give it to him, but then it's like, hey, wait, then I just... It's actually just better for me. It doesn't save him. But I also just get an Ivis now. Oh, that's weird. I didn't have that one. Quickly do the seven mana five nine whiteboard. He hasn't played any spells this entire game, so that was the first one. So he cannot play that one. He would need like brawl. Oh my god! Disaster. Actual disaster. Surely this is lethal, right? Surely? It's gotta be. I mean, it might not get rushed and that's not.
I think we can unsquash it. Got him. How many druids today? I mean, well, we, we we haven't faced a druid in a very long time, but we faced two right at the beginning. Uh, we can play a Twisted Tether Roulette. Good hand, though. It's just um, one Lingering Zombie kind of beats this and us and everything. Oh dear. That seems really bad for us because he just hero powers and kills that. I mean, at least we have this to kill it. <laughs> he kind of has to, right? It's just a thing about if you go like coin wicker claw, like okay, it looks good and all, but like he doesn't have a coin now, and now he's just behind the whole game. But if he has better cards than us, he'll win. But maybe he doesn't have better cards than us. Stop playing discover. Can he reach so far as a warlock? Skill? No. But like I honestly do think warlock is underrated significantly um but this is also just a good deck pretty good deck i mean this is not a i don't even think this is a high roll warlock that's the thing like i actually just on iraq i think warlock is a lot better than most people think it is not matching with hunters we beat we beat in two out of three hunters we queued in two Do I value trade here? Yes. The thing is, is that Warlock absolutely has to be played as a tempo class. And a lot of people don't. They want to play Control Warlock. After the rotation in two weeks, or a week and a half, Control Warlock is going to be a whole lot better than it is right now. But people try to do it even though it sucks right now. It just does not work. But people try to play it that way anyway. And I really think that's the reason Warlocks is so bad in the win rates. is just because people play it wrong. Druid was the same way, like, I don't remember exactly how long, but like, I want to say like four or six months ago. Like, Druid was the same way, like, it, they didn't have Scale of Anixia or, or Flipper or any of these things. They, did, they didn't have, like, any of their reactive cards, and people still tried to play Control Druid in Arena. And it was like, you have literally no control tools, why are you picking a whole bunch of late game? You just need to pick token shit and kill them, <laughs> right? You're like the aggro class, but people were, it's the same thing. And I think at that time too, war I think it wasn't quite so low, but Druid was like 40, it was like 44, 45%. And there were multiple streamers that were like, I think Druid's the best class. <laughs> All right. Got to hold off a little bit. We're not drawing our good mid game. I mean, we got the demonic assaults, but we somehow, even though we have like seven five drops, we missed all of them in this game. 
whole abomination would be insane here. Sinmire's like, oh, you, I heard my name. What's up? We just tap for hollow bomb still, right? Surely. Fuck. That's that's useful though. Uh, I don't do it though, because the thing is, now I want to I want to play the sin runner so it activates this. Had I traded instead of drawn, I could have done both of these. That's okay. Would have let me play around a buff a little bit, but um, this resists buffs a little bit, too. Would make him not really want to go like super hard into this particular board. Okay, that's a problem. Um, hmm. Okay, that saves me, probably. Actually... Do I need this more than I need this? Maybe. I really don't want this to get frozen. I'm not killing that much more anyway, right? This might be too slow to really matter. Yeah, I made this account because I have to because I don't want to be playing on my uh, leaderboard accounts because the way they have the leaderboards is that e every run matters, so I just don't want to be... I mean, if I just have runs like this, then I could be improve my average, I guess, but I just don't really want to stress about that. I still need to at some point. I might do a little bit. At some point, I'll try to improve at least one or two of those scores, but I believe, I mean, they haven't officially said anything, but I'm pretty sure it's whenever the cards, the rotations are, and I mean, rotations have been two every two months forever, right? So. Seems incredibly weak. So I actually get the Sin Runner out now. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's not best 30 anymore. I should make a command that succinctly says what it actually is, but it's... Yeah, it's not best 30. You can hurt him here. I'm pretty sure you have to. You have to do the troll here, right? The thing that sucks is he's gonna dream the uh, Sin Runner. And then I'm still not going to have this active. And so he will be winning board now. But there's just like, I mean, there's not much I can do about it. Good draw. He probably has to still dream this, though. I mean, at least we're like forcing that. Wrath would be like the best card in the entire game for him right now. Except for the fact that then we would reanimate it. He has the biggest balls in the world. He's going to take six here. I like that. I will commend you if you do that, sir. Just, yeah, just take six. Nothing bad will happen. Just take six. Damn. I tried, chat. Uh... Hmm. I might die. I'm actually at, like, harps and dead, aren't I? It's a problem. Uh, Demonic Assault? Every time? Fuck. The thing is, if I tap, I'm, like, more likely to be dead. 
So it's a straight 1 in 12. I could draw a clergy, which would also help. Oh, wait, he has Nightmare, so I'm actually just dead. Forgot about that. Yeah, Tether helps too. I have to, right? Because I'm I'm literally dead on board. Maybe he doesn't see it yet. They never see it, right? It's really hard to miss this. I think he saw a chat. Should I keep this right? What a first message. There's like one. I'm not sure if it's one. There's like one or two guys that go around and just do that. Do that in in Twitch chat in Hearthstone specifically because I don't know. That's their life identity. Whatever. Just don't give them attention. <laughs> if you give them attention, they do it more. So because of the uh, hollow abomination, I'm wondering, like, maybe I just demonic this. I don't know, do you ever do this in this? It's kind of just worse, right? I'm probably supposed to hit face first, but... Poison, yeah, I don't want to leave poison, I don't think. Saw the hunter when I drafted via YouTube, it was great, right? It almost made you quit the game? Almost got you there. I'll keep trying, I'll get a more broken deck. Hmm. I have a bad feeling my strategy isn't gonna work. The issue is now. Can't kill this, kind of sucks. But, oh well. It's good enough. You have to imagine it's reckoning, it could be galloping, but. So we just go double reef here, huh? I can test the uh, reckoning first, but I guess it doesn't really change my decision making. I'm still probably taking this trade, right? I could just not, but... It's alright, I can activate this immediately then. Or soon if I trigger it with this. The area would not trigger Reckoning. No. This does not deal three damage. There were three targets on board. This does not deal three damage. It deals one damage three times. Those are two different things. Reckoning only cares if you deal three damage, not one damage three times. I'm just going to play the dredger here. Yeah, it's not very logical, but... <laughs> I 
that's just one of those things, you know, it's one of those things that you just have to under you just have to know that. They don't Hearthstone is known for not explaining anything. Ever. I still just trade like this, right? I've seen so many rage posts on like Reddit and stuff because situations like that, like someone got like brass winged and then it didn't trigger reckoning and they're like, oh my god, what the fuck, shit game. They were like full on like, oh my god, I'm right, how can you tell me I'm wrong, fuck Blizzard, you know, it just everything. And everyone's like, bro, it's like, this is, this is how it works. He's like, no, but it's not how it should work. I'm like, it's... okay. Baba Naga, yeah, if something like Baba Naga, the Baba Naga battle cry, you know, what's really funny is that something like the cards that hit your own hero, those trigger reckoning. You play like the hyena thing or whatever, or a pit lord or whatever, that stuff triggers reckoning. Hecklefang Hyena, right? That's the 2 mana 2 for it deals 3 to your hero. Yet your Injured Blade Master, and now the new Injured Blade Master, the, the Priest Legendary that's being printed next set, that will also trigger Reckoning, although Reckoning won't exist anymore, so... Is, uh, if, you're, if you haven't heard, which we have a... Uh, <laughs> I should plug, we have the Core Set Review video on my YouTube somewhere. Um. They are removing every Paladin Secrets. Paladin Secrets will no longer be a thing, at least in Standard. We don't know about the, uh... We don't know about this arena because maybe it won't be a completely Standard rotation. We don't know yet. Overheal, they're doing it. Well, their explanation is that they they saw that priest heal is worse even than like worse than warrior and yeah, It's actually funny. Um, they basically said they didn't want any class to be worse than warrior. They didn't say it like this But it's like yeah, um priest healing, you know If you're at full health you can armor but you can't heal so we wanted to make sure that The hero power always did something so they're introducing the hero the overheal mechanic. First kill. Time for the finishing touch. Okay. It, it's uh, I'm I'm taking a very negative interpretation that it, they didn't really say anything that led it that way, but like it, you could interpret that way if you wanted to. Um. But essentially, yeah, they did say like, you know, they wanted it so that priest hero power would be slightly more useful in the early game, essentially. Even though they didn't they didn't use those words exactly either, but that's that's what they mean. I shouldn't do this because uh otherwise I get gargoned really hard if I don't trade. Fuck me, I guess.
think I'm going to take a lot more damage than if he uh, assaults this. Or if I assault now. Why? Why would he hit that one? He's not planning on trading? He just... Oh, he wants to deal the damage more than he wants to take? I, I guess that's kind of fair. But... Okay. Oh, it's just that I'm kind of smarking you, sir. I don't... You maybe haven't realized it yet. <sighs> now, he's just... Because he had the choice. He's like, I can take two damage to prevent two healing. But... He's making that choice while he's on the back foot a little bit. More than maybe he realizes. Two mad drudge. Not too mad, Rich. It's really annoying, though. <laughs> you want to take six, bro? I might just play the peasant because then I can uh seems reasonable. You have the opinion that heal is the strongest skill testing ability. I mean kind of because like I mean the one thing is is that you really want to use it on board, and if you're a low skill player, you are more likely. Not that you can't be a high skill player playing off board strategies, but more skilled players generally have more of a, a board than less skilled players. So you aren't really able to utilize it at all if you're a low skilled player. So that does make it worse. The thing is, is that also for a high skilled player, like it also hurts when you just <laughs> can't get a board and then it doesn't do anything. Murloc Tempo Hunter? I think we lost Chat. See if we can get Rush here. Dude, we're just so good at this game. You guys know how hard it is being this skilled at the at the uh, slots game. Remember when we had a board and then and we had health. Also, yeah, you guys remember when we had like all of those things. Um, do I need to? Can I play this or can I afford to Demonic Assault? We're 18. We should not die, right? I'm pretty sure we just don't. Because second collateral I don't think kills us. It just doesn't kill us, right? We should be okay. We're not done with you yet. I don't think it's enough damage. Unless I'm really bad at math. Because we're at 18, we're at 13, and then like, what, 5, 3, 3. It's only 11. We do die to like collateral arcane shot, technically. There's like the other arcane shot, the other one. The one mana deal too. Like, it really shouldn't happen. He didn't hit the right 3. Because that also would have required him to be un ungodly lucky, right? Double drafted collateral, by the way. Just want to, uh, just want to point that out. Casual double drafted collateral. 
after playing fit. Dude, look at this. This deck. Oh my god. He even had Murloc, so he's Murloc Tempo Hunter on top of all of that. You know what, was, what made this run so great up to this point? I forgot Mage was actually a class. Because we hadn't queued into like any mages. This is actually the first mage. Well, all all good things have to come to an end, right, chat? We about the giveaway since someone uh pinged that thing. Um the giveaway will probably be in the next like day or two, I wanna say. I'll probably do one on I'm not sure if I'll do one on Twitch, to be honest, but um, I probably will. Yeah, I think I will. I'll probably do uh, one on Twitch, one on YouTube, one on Twitter. So if you want to be able to participate in those, make sure you're following on all those platforms. So the obvious one is this maybe. I don't want to take this, though, because it's probably better for him because he's more likely to have mechs. So I guess I take this anyway. Oh, he guessed wrong. I guess he, he took the mech, right? He wanted the mech more. Probably. I only need one shot. Yeah, exactly. That's what the clueless emote is for. It's like, ah, I haven't queued into mages. Oh, there's mages. Oh. Should I cover the Blizzard uh, patch notes today? Maybe I should. As I am a, uh, a prized news channel, so I cover all the important news, like the Blizzard post today. It's been a long time since I actually tried to do the uh, clergy marauder combo. I like how in the past notes they didn't even put like uh <laughs> they have like multiple versions all in the title. That is your version control. Lazard. Which I know is a joke, but also I've never seen someone actually do it like that. Do you see the streamer integration section? We all knew it was coming, right? We're not done with you yet. That's pretty good, right? Uh, rip entire board. You know what I was surprised by? I didn't realize this to be the case. I released as a kind of semi-experiment, well, kind of accidental experiment, I released the Mage, Druid, and Hunter card reviews on YouTube all at the same time. And apparently people hate Druid. In the initial hour and still up to this point, it's gotten like half the views as the other two videos. And like there's, it's not like YouTube didn't show that one. Like it had the same number of impressions, but people just didn't click the Druid one specifically. Everything is the same, just people apparently hate Druid. I didn't realize that. Or they just really like Mage and Hunter, which fair enough, right? What the fuck? Uh, he did not play coin, so that's Fire Sail, Rune Orb, Jellyfish. Oh. You hate Druid? Guess so, yeah. I'm surprised. 
I don't want to know how bad the Demon Hunter one does, because Demon Hunter always does horrific, too. Demon Hunter is going to be the worst. So the issue is I know he has a fire sale. So uh, da, 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 da. if I do this, he just fire sale rune orbs. So there's like nothing I can do here, right? I'm going to get cleared no matter what. So I should probably tap to try to find something that actually helps me, right? Imagine. That does something. The one issue is, is like, if I don't do anything, then like, he doesn't have to clear me, right? I think I have to like, shoot him just to like, force the clear. Because otherwise he just doesn't clear, like I'm not pushing enough damage, right? And then it's worse. I heard something bang into my window, I think it, I think a bird just flew into my window. Let me check if there's a dead bird outside. There is a pigeon chilling there. I don't know. It's alive, at least. Uh, good news, chat. It's alive. He did use the fire cell, right? Okay. Does this do anything? It does final gasps, right? The weird thing is, is I have the Black Ops Shades, so like, it wouldn't- a bird wouldn't fly in thinking that it's clear. Like, I have Black Ops Shades up, so... You never know, I guess. Okay, so he had to get the rush. I feel like I have to... Not troll because I need all of that damage face. So I'm going to go for this instead. There's totally a chance we die, but he didn't show a lot of damage. Like, I mean, he doesn't have like a whole bunch of frozen touches, at least that we know of, right? So it's 14. That's a lot. That's hard to do because we don't know of any him having really any reach. It was funny because the pigeon was literally just, uh, it, there's like a little roof out there and it's like the pigeon was just kind of chilling on there. And it, like, I think it saw me looking out at it and it was just looking like confused at the window. It was like, what the hell? Water! We check on it again. Well, if it's dead, it would just fall from where it was. I wouldn't be able to see it. But if it, it was not dead, it would also fly away from where it was, so I would also not see it, so... Uh, sick. Seems rather comfortable here. Oh, I think he accidentally traded it, chat. Apparently he's a genius. He just happened to do it in a way that didn't set up the troll. I yeah, I think I do this because I get him down to 8. Even with this. I force him to have to ping this. And... Yeah... I don't know, I could have also just used the troll to push all the damage. If you please Marg, I do win, that is that is true. Am I dead?
I need him to parrot an amulet and get an 8-8 eight eight that doesn't have a rush. Come on. Or, I mean, if he pairs an amulet, I should just always win, to be honest. Yeah, there's, like, no chance an amulet helps him. What he needs is to, like, switch it to blizzards and then just chain blizzard me until I stop moving. Essentially, right? That doesn't seem like what he needs. We did a chat. We beat a mage. Even gods do bleed. It's a good warrior card joke. You know what else is a good joke? Warrior. <laughs> I had to. That was actually what it was looking at me like, yeah. It was like, what the fuck? Oh, great. Our opponent is at three mana, four or five. He decided to discount it again. I don't want to let him if he wants, because if I hit, he can ping and then discount it again. Probably don't want to allow that. I mean, a ping really sucks. Actually, the thing that's funny is like I haven't played. I was thinking I haven't played Phasmophobia in a while, but it's like it actually sounded a lot like the door, the the glass uh, knock animation or sound in that game. Maybe I have a ghost chat. Hype run. Hype ghost. Oh, they got rid of the hype ghost one. Oh, but you still have Ghost. Kind of sucks, but I think I still do this. Otherwise, I give him shit, right? Nobody. Dude, the whole, like, tab complete is really... buggy on 7TV now. This is how you do it, yes. I'm dying. Go space. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Wow. This is going to be, like, actually the highest value Sin Runner in history. Forces a Cheesemonger trade with initiative. Then he gets respawned. And that's bad, though. Um, things I would love to, but I just don't see how I can actually uh, afford to not do this. It's just, I, I'm leaving that up, but what am I going to do about it? I may have to coin a hero power because I just don't know. No, I need to coin three and five, I guess, next turn. So I don't think I can. Yeah, a partnership with the school board. Nice, nice, nice. They never get flame strike off of that babbling book, right, chat? Never. Right? Never. Never.
So Mike's going to get frozen and it's going to be a problem for us, isn't it? Maybe he kills it though. I feel like I've never seen a guy more afraid of Sin Runners in my life. He's like, kill them! Kill them now! So now we just vomit everything on board and hope it goes well. I guess, right? Nothing bad ever happens, right? He's used all of his AoE chat. He has no more area of effect spells or spells in general, except for, uh, well, this spell that's infinite value and this spell. Uh, he has no other spells though. No other value, no cards that do anything. Even though he has twice as many cards as we do. We got him exactly where we want him, chat. Look, I can silence his death rattle. Got him. They never expect it. Oh man, when you if you muck plumber, you copy with the eight mana spell. I don't think anyone's done that to me yet. Yeah, that would be a thing. Reefwalker's good, that can activate the other guy. I guess I'll trade this now. Doesn't seem particularly useful. I already used the combo, damn. I gotta hope this is the time he doesn't have AoE, I feel like. Apparently he just also has Sneeds, this is what we learned. Uh, we do have a Tether and an Undead, right? So, okay chat, uh, somehow we still have him where we want him. Maybe. It's not an Undead. Um, it's a Demonic Assault though. Hopefully, I, I, I haven't been tracking exactly, but hopefully this is screwing over the Frozen Touch at least a little bit. Maybe. Hopefully. Please. Hmm. Why is he accusing my 4-4 four four when I have a 5-5 five five on the board? Now he's BMing us, chat. And he's frozen touching our face when he could have pinged the 4-4. Four four. I mean, that was like an impressively bad turn, actually. Like, most players couldn't even manage to do a turn that badly if they 100% tried. Most players literally wouldn't be able to find that that four of a way to play that turn. Come on, undead. 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 Damn. Have to do this though, I think. Uh, if we can actually establish a board before we fatigue, we can actually win. The issue now, though, is actually we're just going to die to burn, aren't we? Yeah, we're actually just dead to burn. That's unfortunate. Too bad we didn't draw a little bit better, because we could have beaten one Frozen Touch if we drew slightly better, maybe, but... 
I mean, he also had this nude, so it's a little hard. I mean, this... Going 11 with this deck, we, um... Cannot complain about too much. <laughs> oh, he just also has Parrot, except he doesn't have anything to activate Parrot. Am I dead, though? I mean, not right now. Because he's been holding that burn forever. You followed. It's too bad. We might lose because this Brewmaster wasn't a playable card here. If we top deck a Demonic Assault, then that will have cost us lethal. We got him to use that burn. That burn, he's been holding that burn since like turn four or some shit. I just killed our entire board, nice. I like how this is the first time I think I've ever used that combo. It's for a fucking stockades guard. Do I go for the Ivis? I do, right? I could have had a freaking Ivis he couldn't take. you do what they really don't expect is you uh you play the ivis imagine if you just didn't take it hmm. they appear to be dead I guess I take that silence. I mean, the issue is, is that I mean, I'm just dead to frozen touch now, right? There's nothing I could do. Go four mana Ivis carry us. Hm. The game tried. He's BMing. I do not think this guy is BMing. I just don't think he's very smart. But... It is what it is. Oh, we got to 11. Watch this on YouTube. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, comment, all those things. I'll probably put this on YouTube. I might as well have a Warlock on there. Bye-bye. Right?